I just ran out of memory, so I had to stop my video prematurely where I was talking about um, Janis Joplin um, being this, you know, this this article specifically taking this cautionary tale stance, which I think is disingenuous and false because Janis Joplin was murdered, Jimi Hendrix was murdered, Kurt Cobain was murdered. Um, and Prince was murdered. Okay, this is my hypothesis right now, is that all of these people were actually murdered, and to the extent that opioids were involved, that was plausible deniability. And each story is slightly different, and each situation happens slightly differently, but each situation has been spun the same way. This is a cautionary tale about opioids, and I'm here to say that that is false. It should be. What it should be is a cautionary tale against mind control or a cautionary tale against allowing people to have the ability to remotely kill people <laughs> or even surveil them in such a way that they can do them harm. Um, because if we were to talk about honestly about this kind of surveillance that's going on, then we would talk honestly about the kind of harm that it causes, which is a lot of harm, because you're basically giving criminals... Um, extra fuel to commit their crimes. You're making it easier for criminals to commit crimes when you allow them to have the surveillance capabilities. And as soon as you engage in the surveillance, you're a criminal because this is illegal surveillance. Um, but besides that part of it, this sort of false story about it being a cautionary tale about opioid use is this um, Minneapolis connection. Okay, why is there a Minneapolis connection? Here, it appears to be the Guthrie Theater. I think that my handler, Erica Schlager, worked for the Guthrie Theater for years, I think. I know that she works for theaters in Minneapolis and does electro electricity, like electrical stuff in the theater system. So this is a typical um, profession for somebody that's involved with directed energy weapons and drones and things like that is in wireless frequencies is um, electrical type jobs. Um, and hers is, you know, um, related to the theater. Um, so I think that might be part of it. So it might be partly a reference to this publication it might be partly a reference to the Guthrie Theater where they talk about, you know, in my dream, she says, I sang as loud as I could. And here it says, you know, the Morning Tribune's music writer, Alan Holbert, complained about how loud and overpowering the Big Brother sound was. So then there's this, also this, um, by the way, you know, all the band names are coded, right? Big Brother is from 1984, but this is Big Brother and the Holding Company, which I imagine has to do with holding someone in captivity, but also perhaps holding assets, um, perhaps that you've um, made some, you know, holding something in trust. Because I don't remember a holding company being part of the novel 1984. Big Brother was. But I don't remember anything about a holding company. So I think that's what it is. It's about, you know, this idea of the 1984 Big Brother, you know, and then this this trust or a holding company or a company that holds somebody in captivity. Um, so then we get into this whole thing about... Um, Her drug, her alcohol and drug fueled party was a five alarm fire in 1969. So this plays into this narrative of this sort of inevitable demise of this person because they're just partying so much. Uh, same narrative that you know. Okay, we're talking about 1969 and Kurt Cobain dies. You know, 20. I don't know. It would have been about 25 years later. Um, and they're still using the same narrative with him, but every single one of these was a murder. And so each one seems to be different, but the way that you know if they're mind control murders or the way that you, the flags anyway, you know, are the links to Chris and I. 
So I think what I'll, I'll need to do is I'll need, and then there's another flag, which is the twinning. So people being paired off, um, murders being linked to each other. So the, the murders are linked to each other, but they're also linked to the twins at the center of this, which is Chris and I. So what I need to do is I need to talk about those three, I, I'm going to talk about the three deaths that happened within that short amount of time that were so well known and kind of got people talking about the so-called 27 Club, and that would be Janice, Jimmy, and Jim Morrison. <laughs>